problem nine of the MIT integration B qualifying exam 2013. Uh, it's a definite integral from x equals zero to x equals one of the natural logarithm of x. So let's, um, this is actually a very easy problem. Let's see how we may be able to solve it. So um, the, our problem here is the integral from x equals to zero to x equals one of the natural logarithm of x, right? Now we're going to use uh, integration by parts, and this really derives from if you have a product, a function that is a product of two uh, functions, u and v, this is the same as v du dx uh, plus u dv dx, right? So that when you integrate on both sides, you get uv being equal to the integral of v du dx plus the integral of u dv dx, right? So that if you um, take one uh, let's say if you uh, take this part onto the left hand side, you have uv minus the integral of u dv dx being equal to the integral of um, v du dx, right? So essentially, if we just swap sides there, the u d u d v d u d x um, is equals to u v minus and so we're going to use this and this is the hallmark of what we call integration. By parts, right? Uh, so that if our integral is like that, we can organize it such that the one hidden one here is expressed as the derivative of x. And so if we are looking at this as being, uh, let's say, dv, uh, let's delete that. If we are looking at this as being d, du dx and this as being v, then it means our uv is going to be x natural logarithm of x minus um, dv is 1 over x and u is x. So that and that cancels, right? And so it means that our integral is x natural logarithm of x minus the integral of 1 over x times x. This and that cancel, so we have x natural logarithm of x minus the integral of 1, which means that the, uh, the integral from x equals 0 to 1 of natural logarithm of x is going to be equal to x natural logarithm of x minus x 0 to 1. Now, as we can see here, um, at the upper limit, natural logarithm of 1 tends to 0. At the lower limit, uh, the 0 here multiplied by log as x tends to 0, this entire thing goes to 0. So this guy goes to 0 at both the upper and the lower limit, and then we're left with uh, negative 1 minus 0, which is equals to uh, 
negative 1. And that is uh, our answer. Um, and it's, it's easy to see clearly because when we plot natural logarithm of x, right, it's this is 1 and this is 0. So this region here is on the region under a y is equal to 0. So the area is definitely being is going to be equal to a negative value. So it is fair to say that the integral from x equals to 0 to, to x equals to 1 of the natural logarithm of x is negative 1. And that is our answer. Thank you very much for your attention. Until next time, bye-bye.